to kind of think about this nine, ten years ago to be speaking in front of, you know, a room of, of strangers when I couldn't even tell my mum or dad or people closest to me, you know, my deepest and darkest secrets. And to, I, I guess for me, it was the middle of fifth year. Um, and I would have been so naive and thinking as in like it was hormonal changes going on in my body because 10 years ago, you know, if mental health was spoken about, it was very much a taboo subject. Um, and the difficulty in it for me was I was living this idyllic life, you know, representing Dublin, having loving friends, loving family, you know, from the outside looking in, nothing could go wrong in, in my life. For me, it was that release of pressure of once I kind of put that message out there, that going, okay, I'm doing some good for someone else because I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I can be myself. And I remember Mick Galvin, one of my coaches, came in. He said, if you focus on your mental health for the next two or three months, you have 78 years of your life to look forward to. And it sounds like such a simple thing, but when I put it in that context, it was that release off me and I could solely go after.